let's talk a little bit about where we find ourselves in the cycle. And you point out that the S&P 500 generally has done reasonably well as interest rates rise. Yes, it's no surprise that right now we're going through a repricing of the markets, and it's all about duration risk and then repricing some of those areas of the market that have been quite frothy. But as we start to see rates increase and as the Fed moves somewhat slowly, 25 basis points at a time is what we think, probably for interest rate hikes this year, when you look at the last three rate hikes that we've seen, the S&P 500 over the year generates about half the return of the previous year. So we're still looking at high single digit or low double digit numbers, which is what we're thinking for this year. Is this a year that that value tends to stick as the preferred style of investing or or what do you feel about that? So if we look at last year, we had a similar route at the beginning of the year where growth was outperforming and value outperformed and then growth once again. This mm -hmm. year, we're seeing it in growth uh, declining, value outperforming, and we think this year is the year that it sticks. So true rotation this year. So last year, we were talking about a barbell between growth and value, and this year, we're talking about more of a tilt towards value. Let's look at a couple of uh, stocks that are on your watch list, uh, and they're, they're an eclectic uh, group. One is a REIT. Uh, one is a company that most of us, I think, will have heard of, uh, and the other is one we may shop at. So why don't you take us through these three stocks that you are keeping an eye on right now? Sure. So if we look at Prologis, one of the stocks that we are watching, um, that's an industrial REIT. And if you look at their top tenants, they're companies like Amazon, Home Depot. Those are the companies that are leasing from them. They have long-term leases. They have uh, a dividend yield that's higher than S&P 500, albeit it's low, but 1.65%. And importantly, they're covering their ratio by about 60%. So uh, we see upside, potential upside here in that REIT. And, you know, REITs tend to do well as an inflationary hedge. So that's one name. The next name that we are looking at is Microsoft, a name that most people know and many people hold. Uh, but we heard yesterday about their uh, merger with Activision, their purchase and acquisition, and they're getting into more of the video gaming and looking at the mobile gaming potential of, which is a $90 billion revenue business that they would like to increase share there and they have a strong iCloud business, increasing revenues by 50% year over year in cloud. So, what we are looking at here as well mm -hmm. is share buybacks. So, companies that are buying back their shares, and we know their board approved uh, buybacks in September, and they're probably going to increase buybacks by about 20%.